Greetings. We are from K1 Group 2 Bio 4306 Applied Plant Biotechnology course. Today, my group mates and I will be presenting about plant based bioplastics. Uh, the first synthetic plastic was produced in 1907 and this plastic called Beckley was the beginning of global plastic industry. However, global plastic uh, production is not rapidly grew until 1950. And the global plastic production increased rapidly nearly 200% from 0 ton in 1915 to 380 million ton in 2015. The global plastic production increased, which means the plastic waste also increased. Plastic waste uh, disposal has become an eco-technological problem in our uh, earth today. And one of the approaches to solving this problem is by the development of bioplastic. And bioplastic is plastic material was produced from organic matter such as Constance, vegetable oil, and it can be produced by recycled food waste. And bioplastic is able to break down naturally. So unlike the traditional plastic uh, that was derived from petroleum, bioplastic was obtained from re uh, the renewable resource and also biodegradable. Biodegradable is made the breakdown of organic matter by microorganisms such as bacteria and fungi. For your information, the first known bioplastic called polyhydrobutyrate PHP was discovered in 1926. Plant-based bioplastics are known as bioplastics created from agricultural scraps such as corn, sugarcane, wheat or food waste. Plant-based materials such as cellulose, collagen, casein, polyester and starch are used to form the plant-based bioplastic which are gone through the solution process and then chemical compounds followed by forming process where the plastic injection molding takes place and finally decomposition process happens through the help of UV sunlight, heat and oxygen. There are various types of bioplastics available currently which includes starch based bioplastics, cellulose based bioplastics, protein based bioplastics, aliphatic polyesters, organic polyethylene and drop-in bioplastics. Starch-based bioplastics are made up of simple bioplastics derived from corn starch which are often mixed with biodegradable polyesters. Cellulose-based bioplastics are produced using cellulose ester and cellulose derivatives. While protein-based bioplastics are produced using protein sources such as wheat gluten, casein and milk. Aliphatic polyesters are a collection of bio-based polyesters including PHB which is poly-3-hydroxyl-butyrate, PHA polyhydroxyalkanoate, PHV polyhydroxyvalerate, PHH polyhydroxyhexanoate, PLA polylactic acid, PA2 polyamide 2 and many more. They are all more or less sensitive to hydrolytic degradation and can be mixed with other compounds. Next, organic polyethylene are polyethylene that can be produced from the fermentation of raw agricultural materials like sugarcane and corn rather than fossil fuels. Drop-in bioplastics is a kind of biosimilar copy of the petrochemical plastics but it is made up of biomass instead of fossil oil. There are many usage of bioplastics such as packaging. Biodegradable plastic like conventional plastic offer a large range of, bio of packaging applications such as bags for compost, agriculture foils, nursery products, toys and textile. And also the other are area include uh, packaging for contact articles including drinking cups, plates, straw, container and so on. Is it expected that the bioplastic material used in food packaging application for uh, packaging application performed by protecting the food uh, from the environment? 
The second uh, usage of bioplastic is bags. Biodegradable shopping bags are made of polymer that degrade or decompose when exposed to air, water or sunlight. There are three types of biodegradable bags such as uh, the original biodegradable bags, PLA and also biodegradable. Next is disposable houseware, where the uh, disposable houseware made from biodegradable plastic are now seen as marketable option that replace traditional plastic such as uh, polystyrene and poly uh, polyolefin. As well such as uh, kitchen towels, uh, washable storage container and cups, uh, bathroom accessory, toys and so on now being uh, produced using biodegradable plastic. Automotive are also the uh, usage of bioplastic. There are some of the bio-based plastic such as bio-based polyamide and bio-based polyester are already successfully being used by leading automotive brands around the world today with the aim uh, of reducing their products' environmental impacts. And bio-based performance polymers such as um, bio-based polyester and polypropylene are the example of uses biodegradable which is perform the important criteria for a uh, high quality car component. Next is medical device and the last one is uh, consumer electronics. Uh, for the medical device, the bioplastic that are produced either from fossil material, material or can be synthesized from biomass or renewable resources such as PLA, PEG, and PCL are as a material of choice for biomedical application due to uh, their good physical properties such as crystallinity, storage modulus, glass transition temperature, and bioresistible uh, properties. There are five of strategic marketing that I state below, which is the first one is from green cell identity to perceived value for bioplastic products, which is perceived value can be defined as a set of attributes related to the consumer's perception of a product's value. Second, from perceived value to behavioral intention, which is considerable support exists for the impact of uh, perceived value on environmental related behavior, such as the purchase of uh, green products. Third, the rule of self congruity with green products. The concept of, of self congruity generally uh, concerns an assessment of the match or mismatch between consumers' perception of a brand or product and themselves. Next, from green self identity to behavioral intention, which is recently advised green self identity as a self centered antecedent of purchase intention for eco friendly products and more generally as a driver of environmental friendly behaviors. Lastly, the theoretical model, this theory provides a psychology based explanation of the potential determinants of individual reaction toward bioplastic products. The advantages of bioplastic are the first one is bioplastic are made from plant raw material instead of petroleum oil. The raw material used to make conventional plastic. Two, plant raw material are renewable and sustainable unlike oil, which is a limited and finite resource. Three, low carbon footprint of manufacturing. Bioplastic is reported 75% lower than PET and PS and their manufacture is kinder to the environment. 4. Bioplastic are non-toxic and won't leach chemical into food. 5. Bioplastic are biodegradable and compostable. 6. Bioplastic can be recycled because there are a variety of zero waste and of life option of bioplastic. They can be cleanly inaugurated and industrial compost. Next is the disadvantages of bioplastic. The first one is growing demand for bioplastic creates competition for food source, contributing to the global food crisis. Second, bioplastic won biodegrade in landfill. Unfortunately, landfill remains in the last stop for many plastic.
There are many arguments that should bioplastic end up in nature, they will break down into non-toxic components. 3. Bioplastic encourage people to litter more. Littering is a human behavior which requires education, risk awareness, a good infrastructure to be reduced. Bioplastic contaminate plastic recycle stream. Most bioplastic are compatible with existing recycle system. There are many types of plastic and they all need to be separate before they have any chance of being recycled. 5. Bioplastic are not the answer of marine litter. Using biodegradable plastic in the place of conventional plastic will not reduce the amount of marine litter that we are at experiencing in the world today. Okay, next uh, we got several comparison between bioplastic and conventional plastic. Firstly, bioplastic is more sustainable compared to conventional plastic because as we know bioplastic uh, production is uh, extracted from plant. Secondly, bioplastic usage in energy consumption is less compared to conventional plastic uh, usage such energy during uh, the production is can up to 65%. Next, bioplastic also can increase the uh, soil fertilization during the degradation uh, process while conventional plastic uh, is decrease the soil fertilization. Uh, for the last point, uh, bioplastic also give no harm to abiotic factor in our environment while conventional plastic leads to abiotic depletion. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you. Okay, lastly for the conclusion. As what we can see, plant-based bioplastic offer a much more sustainable solution compared to conventional plastic uh, despite of having several drawbacks. Next, for the betterment of plant-based bioplastic, a uh, more effective degradation process should be discovered as this will be benefit for our environment and to achieve the sustainable development goals that proposed by the United Nations. That's all from me.